Hi, my name is Juma. Welcome to my Sunday Love series. Today I'm going to be talking about commitments and just what commitment means in this day and age. Um, commitment is an action on our part in response to God. And um, I feel like in this day and age, there's no point in um, talking about commitment in any in any way, shape or form unless you're, you know, you have the intention to fully commit like 100%. And by commitment, I mean, obviously, first and foremost, commitment to God, um, your commitment to your family, your commitment to your, you know, your partner, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, commitment to your friends. It could even be commitment to your, your neighbors, commitment to your employees or employer. And, um, you know, commitments in general, it could even be commitment to yourself, to your health, to your well-being. And I just believe that in all things, you know, we do and say, we should always try and um, stick to every commitment we make. And um, as for those of you out there that have already made commitments and um, you're working hard at sticking to every single promise you've made in regards to your commitments in every aspect of your life, I pray that um, any hindrance that may still stand in your way between you and God and your commitments, I pray that it will be removed um, today in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that at the end of this, you um, you know are more encouraged to stay commi committed and in any way that there's any lack in any um, of your commitments you work on it and you know make it a hundred percent in jesus name um i'm just going to go straight in and talk about different types of commitments now i'm going to start with partial commitments and um partial commitment to me is not a commitment at all partial commitment is basically like um i'll use christians because this is commitment from a christian's perspective because i'm a christian um i believe that many christians you know they live their day-to-day -day life in uh, a very partially committed way. And it's not just in the way they live their lives every day. It could be also in the way they serve and the way they worship. And um, there are different scriptures in the Bible, in the book of Luke, that just basically um, has Jesus telling, telling, telling his disciples and just people in general that, believers in general, that you know, there's no way you can say you're fully committed to God and you don't honor your commitment to your family. You know, I don't believe that, um, you know, you should go to church, you know, or wherever it is you worship seven days a week and, you know, just totally diminish your responsibilities to your family, your responsibilities to your partner, your responsibility to work, your responsibility to yourself, taking care of yourself as a human being. I mean, if you don't give 100% where you are required to give it to, how are you supposed to commit to God? Because God teaches us, you know, this is going to go back to loving thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love God when you don't even love yourself or your or or your or your you know your surroundings, people around you? Um, and I believe that a lot of people are lacking um, in this in this area in this field, and um, you know there are different dif dif different different ways by which I feel people lack in that area of commitments. You know you can't. You can't say, you know, you're committed to any situation and you're just, you know, partially giving like 90% or 95% when um, God requires 100%. Jesus also says again, I'm going to quote, um, I wish that you will be hot, you were hot or cold. And um, this just basically means God will prefer you if you are for him or completely not for him. I know it sounds strange, but being lukewarm is not exactly the way forward because if you're just like this, like lukewarm, I believe it's it's another way you're opening yourself to to failure. You're opening yourself to attacks. You're opening yourself to temptation. And you know, it's better just to be like um, steady in your beliefs and your commitments. I feel like um, by being lukewarm, many believers are crippled because um, they're half-hearted in their commitments and they don't experience the joy and the peace and you know just that just that full trust and faith and understanding in knowing that they're doing things the right way the way they should and understanding that god has their back no matter what so what i find is that people would you know they make mistakes or break commitments and they are afraid not only are they afraid to you know ask god for forgiveness they're afraid to just pray and open up about it and start believing that well i've already done one bad thing i might as well carry on either they start believing well god isn't answering their prayers anymore or they believe they got away with it so if i can get away with breaking a commitment what's the point in going to church what's the point in praying i can do whatever i need or i want to do and 
you know, uh, the lines in their faith or in what they believe starts becoming, you know, wishy-washy. And it's, it, it causes a big gap in between their commitment to God and commitment to their partner or their employee or employer or whatever it is they, they, they were, you know, originally committed to. Um, I'm going to move on into another part, section of commitment, and I want to talk about commitment um, as a Christian. Um, and um, I'm just going to talk again from a Christian's perspective. I want to talk about the Christian life and um, how it will not work without total commitment to God. Um, on this basis, I just feel like um, there is really no way to live your life as a Christian unless you completely give like your life totally to God. And by this, I mean, um, you know, coming to God, putting God first before, you know, before, before, before anything. Like I always say, first thing in the morning when I wake up, I get down, I pray to God, I thank Him, even if I don't ask for anything. Of course, I ask sometimes, but you know, my priority always is just to thank Him for my life, for my my family, my friends, my loved ones, and just, you know, continuously seek him in everything I do, putting him first, you know, asking him and, you know, asking him to reveal things to me and make me understand and just basically to just guide me in every aspect of my life. I believe, like, in doing that, it just makes that bond you have with God much stronger. But once again, I have to reiterate that, you know, in being committed, being committed to God, being committed to your family, being committed to to your work, being committed to your word. People, people, people don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. The words you say to people, you you are with somebody. If you say I love you, I want to be with you. These are commitments. You know, you might just be thinking, oh, I'm tricking this girl, or I'm tricking this guy, or I can say whatever I want and you know, end up doing what I want, you know, we're not married, it doesn't matter, you know, we're not stuck together, it's a commitment, so we always have to remember to be careful, be wise, um, try to stick to our promises, try to be strong, even if you've made a mistake, just try and, you know, retract, retrace your footsteps, try and do better so you can be better and always put God first. Um, all in all, commitment has to do with the most important subject of all and that is our relationship with God. I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope your Sunday goes beautifully. Um, please keep watching. Thanks to all those that have been watching. Um, I pray that God bless you, blesses you. God um, enhances and protects you in all your commitments and please subscribe to my channel. God bless you. See you next time on Sunday. Love. Take care. Bye.